Hey guys, so we finally got the greenhouse pretty much up and running. Uh, we're T-minus like 24 hours till we start getting plants in here actually, uh, which is pretty exciting. Uh, we finished the floor up, we've gotten the benches in here. Uh, we even got some trays in here ready to get going. Why I'm taking a video now today is because uh, the greenhouse is actually up to temperature where it needs to start exhausting some heat. It's actually about 60 degrees out today with uh, partly cloudy skies. So, I mean, the greenhouse is actually warming up a little bit. So I wanted to take a little time to explain how we set this greenhouse up, uh, basically from the previous owner as well as uh, lo logistically with the thermostat. So I'm gonna start over at the thermostat panel to give you guys an idea of what that looks like. So we're doing two things here. We're exhausting heat and we're adding heat, uh, mainly in the at night or you know on the cooler days. So we have a thermostat system set up here. We have three on this side, which are for the exhaust. And then on the other side, we have for the heaters. So the heaters are pretty simple. There's two thermostats. One set up on uh, our rear heater, one set up on our front heater. And this is only a 72 by 30 greenhouse, so it really only needs one heater. But it came with two, we decided to put two in. Uh, you know, in case one fails between, you know, things just going wrong and in the middle of the night when it's below 32 degrees or even below 55 degrees, uh, we want backups in case we need to get the heat up so uh, we installed both of them they're both set at 55 degrees because you know we don't want the temperature in here really dipping any anywhere below I'd say 50 degrees for the plants we're growing in here so you know we set a threshold about 55 degrees so these heaters should theoretically kick on once that temperature you know hits maybe 54 it's gonna trigger the thermostat here to kick on and and work so that's pretty cool. The other side we have here is the row of three thermostats. Uh, the one over here is for the dampers or the louvers, which I'll show you in a minute. We have one for a one speed fan and one for a two speed fan. Now there's three different settings on here with three different thermostats. And I'm gonna exp explain a little bit how we set this up. So one, we want the dampers or the louvers behind me you can see back here which are both open right now i have that set about 70 72 degrees for those louvers to open up and start letting air into the greenhouse once it gets up to that temperature which is fine and dandy uh these stay open most of the day uh you know we went back and forth of tying the louvers up with the fans uh crossways and that probably would have been more preferable in my uh instance but the thermostats were already wired up to this other way. So I said, all right, let's try it out. So the louvers, you know, once it hits about 70, stay open constantly, which, you know, isn't the worst thing. It's constantly letting fresh air kind of just, you know, circulate in as it will. So uh, the, the other part of this is when it gets too hot in here, you know, we have the ventilation fans in the back here, right here, uh, to help exhaust that hot air. And, you know, on a day like this where it's 60 out, uh, you know, when those fans open, it should be able to bring some cool air from outside in and do that air exchange. So we have two different things set up here. Our one speed fan is hitched to about 75 degrees. And, you know, that's about the optimal temperature we would like it in here most of the time, between 75 to 80. So we have the louvers opening up before that because if our fans are kicking on before the louvers uh open up we're gonna create kind of like a suction here and just you know kind of suck all the air out i don't think it would affect the greenhouse that much but long term it might just not be good for the structure itself so the louvers open first second we have our one speed fan that kicks on at 75 degrees which unfortunately right now i'm gonna wait for it to kick back on but that'll kick on about that time and it will help exchange the air until that temperature drops around that that temperature we have our second, our two speed fan, um, which has one speed that's set to, excuse me, I have that thermostat set to about 80 degrees. I think it's 79, 80 degrees. So 
when it gets up to that temperature in here that fan's going to start kicking to its first speed and right now it is sitting pretty much steady on its first speed if you can see behind me so that's been running constantly for probably about two hours right now and what that's doing is just allowing enough air exchange in here to keep this out at about an 80 degree temperature the uh the the single speed fan will kick on when you know it's it's reading those temperatures a little above 80 which is coming on and off uh periodically uh our last thing that's going to happen in here is when the uh, tunnel in here gets too hot so like above 85 pushing 90 both of these fans are going to crank to its uh double speed theoretically the single speed fan is going to turn on first to help exhaust and if you look right behind me that's kind of what the second speed of this fan is going to look like same with the one that's over here so like i was saying if the heat in here is getting above that like 85 to 90 threshold both fans on both sides will kick to this this higher speed which will help exhaust more air so that's kind of the lowdown of how we set up this greenhouse there's many different ways to do that you know say you have a cloudy day that's in the 70s and you just need to be exhausting a little bit of heat here and there versus you know a day where it's you know maybe 70 and full sun where you really need to keep put pumping air out of here because it's just constantly getting too hot and i'm sitting about in the middle of the in the greenhouse right now uh where my thermostats let thermostats lay and both fans are on right now and both louvers are open and i'm getting a pretty decent draft coming through here which feels pretty nice uh, which is what we want we want fresh air pulling through here it is taking a little bit of humidity out of the air and it has helped taking that hotter air out and bringing in some cooler air the one last thing i haven't talked about yet are horizontal uh, ventilation fans haf fans uh which they can be called as well which are up here excuse me right here uh to help circulate the air in the actual greenhouse what that is what those are beneficial for is to keep air constantly circulating in the the greenhouse which will keep moisture down a little bit it'll keep the air a little drier and cooler as it moves so we're still kind of working here on how you know all of that's gonna kind of intertwine with the thermostats itself right now we just kind of have stagnant air sitting here without any fans moving and the exhaust fans pulling air through but my thinking is when the horizontal fans start kicking in which we're going to turn on when we start actually getting plants in here uh, that need that kind of air movement uh, i i think we're going to see a little bit uh change in how the louvers in the the exhaust fans are going to work because you're going to get more of a consistent amount of airflow which will give us a more consistent uh temperature range throughout the whole greenhouse so you know these might be kicking on a little later than the actual temperatures in certain parts of the greenhouse versus you know having a more consistent flow of air through here so we're doing a lot of trialing right now and seeing how things are working but you know until we really have the whole system working uh, with plants in here which are always going to give off heat and we're going to be adding water so moisture there um, two is having those fans running and three is seeing how the heaters the fans and the louvers all work together at one time so uh, little by little we're getting there i haven't justified just turning everything on for a whole week because that costs money but you know i've gotten a good idea of how things are working in here how they're gonna work and to be honest i'm pretty satisfied i've been working in here uh multiple days where it's warm and it's staying about 80 degrees in here our thermostat right here excuse me our temperature gauge right here is actually reading 80 degrees which is perfect one other thing we tried to do is we got a little sensor that is hitched up to our phones to monitor the heat in here so if i'm out in the field and say something happens one of these uh, exhaust fans just craps out for some reason um, my phone can notify me you know if the temperature is getting above you know 85 degrees in here at the same time at night if our heaters are one of our heater malfunctions for some reason and the temperature is starting to dip below 50 degrees in here 
uh, this will send a notification to my phone to let me know, hey, something's wrong, something's not right here. Uh, let's go figure out what's going on. And to me, that's really insurance, um, I should say, for the greenhouse and for my plants because that gives me the ability to come out and check on things when I otherwise wouldn't be thinking of it. So if that's one heater went out, um, you know, I can come in here, switch that one off, switch our other one on and start getting heat back in here or figuring out why the fans kicked off. And there's a lot of things that are working on its own, which can be a little nerve wracking at times to me because uh, I haven't experienced that. But we're going to live and learn and see how things adapt uh, as things get warmer, as temperatures are colder at night uh, and start to increase throughout the day. Yeah. Uh, we're excited to get plants in here and start growing. So we're going to, you know, be posting a lot of pictures and some videos of, you know, what we're growing in here, how we're growing them and uh, how the greenhouse is working out for us. You know, I always say with farming, there's a million ways to do something. And this is just one way to do what I explained. But I hope this video is helpful to anyone that's uh, trying to start the greenhouse up. So, yeah, thank you very much. Have a good day, guys.